Okay, so the uh, the hatch has arrived, um, as you can see, and uh, be careful not to damage the surface, but you can see the machined groove uh, has been put in, and that now. heavy and I don't, I'm trying not to scratch that surface to do this demonstration so uh, that fits on there but as you can see now the hatch is flat but the other surface is not flat so that's what I've now got to arrange um, to get machined so I think I'm going to send it actually to the same foundry that um, machined this yeah, so it's this surface now that isn't flat, but I've just got a couple of things that need to go into the into the uh, the tower yet before I send it off. So uh, I need to just get some pipe nipples ordered actually and get them in. Okay, so I've been, uh, I've done, I said I was going to do some, I was going to do a fillet on this, so I've ground in and uh, and I've done my first weld and you can see that's taken it flush to the, uh, flush to the edge or more or less flush to the edge. And now I'm going to do another run here uh, of which I'm just going to make sure that I just touch this edge here on my way round. But I, actually I'm going to flick it over to the other side first. So I need to go another run over the top of this now because that's only taking it flush. So you can see that I've uh, I've finished this one now, but it, it's got a little bit of a thicker weld bead profile on it. Uh, that's because I did a like um, a sort of a root pass, uh, and then I had to build up a bit of a thicker bead to meet meet the edge. So I'd, I was doing a very slight weave on that to to build up a bit of a bigger bead. You see that in comparison to one of the ones I did over there, for a, a different one. Right, so in order to um, make sure that I still keep this, even it's sticking out in the chuck now, but in order to make sure that it was still there, uh, oops, in the correct place or parallel to the chuck, I've just used these two uh, parallel bars there just to line it up and I'm not going to go in at as steep an angle as I showed on drawing, I'm going to slightly modify it. I'm going to come across the face with a cross side like this. I did look at coming the other way, uh, either way I think would work but let's try it like this. not enough so I'm going to go a bit more
Ham at 18, which is what I was aiming for. Uh, I'm just going to put a little bit of a flat on there now. Or shall I weld it first? No, put a bit of flat on. Um, so I don't need this angle anymore, so I can reset this. 25 degrees that was. I'll adjust the drawing. Okay, so I've machined a, I've machined a flat there and uh, I'm gonna screw the rod in, weld it, and then just turn this down a little bit more. Right, so that's in the, in the vise now. Uh, I don't need to worry about damaging the surface of the, the bar thing because it's all gonna be machined off. I'm just gonna tighten this up now as tight as I can. So, the chain wrench on. It's about as tight as I can get it without damaging it. Okay. Now I'm just going to weld this on now. So I'm actually just waiting for that, uh, that part to cool down now. Um, still too hot to put back in the lathe. Uh, so I've just put this on, this end cap on, and what I want to do is just uh, sort of try up these. This is just really, I'm floating around with nothing to do, so I'm going to try this. Let's see how it looks. Right, I've switched my other to the other lens, uh, which means I can't use my little lapel mic, but it does mean that I can put the uh, the wide angle lens on. And this is what I wanted to try. That's too high but they I think they'll they'll come down a bit lower and it does clear it clears the pipe which is what I wanted it wanted it to make sure I'll have to I'll have to make the uh, the angle from there to here it'll have to be, be a, a really tight joint but that's okay we can do that a little bit there just go a microscopic more uh, might just make that something sensible as well it's almost 40 any more than that. In fact that's really smooth now. I mean you can see it but that's just the way it is. Right I'm going to leave that at that. 
I mean, looking here in the light, you can hardly see it. And, and I can't feel that now. That is literally one piece. Anyway, now I'm going to turn this down to the right diameter and this out to a shoulder. So this is a bit off center, but it doesn't really matter in this case because uh, I'm going to machine it all down. So I'm just turning up to the shoulder. Uh, so I've just made myself a little bit of uh, relief there because I can't get this, uh, this tool in. Put, I've put in a different, um, a new blade or a new carbide tip. And this is now exactly, uh, well, what are we at? This is, this is, 12.4 I'm measuring it there 12.6 and my hole is okay 11.54 11.98 depending on how hard I pull it I can make it go to 12.7 so I'm almost there I'm just going to go one last pass and then up to the shoulder So this is my final pass to turn up to the shoulder. I mean, this is just straightforward stuff. As it, this isn't anything fancy. Always worry that you're going to pull the wrong lever at this point, and they'll lock. That off. I'm going to pull that. Awesome. Very nice. Super pleased with that. No wobble at all. I mean, that must be less than a thousandth. And I've come up to the shoulder, and now you can see that that, this and this are now one integral piece. That was what I wanted to do. So I'm pleased with that. I've just got to put the O-ring groove in now and just uh, break a couple of edges. Should be good. So what I'm doing is I'm, uh, I'm just putting the thread on, but I'm putting it on by hand I've started the thread on the machine so I've got I've done about half of the thread on the machine and then I finish it off um, with the hand die because I just find that I get uh, a bit much better finish a much better thread now when I did the one in there it didn't really matter because nobody's ever going to see it but this one needs to be nice so I prefer to do it this way right or wrong um, I mean, you can see I probably could have just can't kept going, but it just never makes a super smooth thread. Whereas when you do it by hand, it does. So I'm just finishing it off like this. It's a little bit tedious, actually.
see it's a really nice thread. It's, I just never get a decent thread like that when I'm doing it with the uh, machine for some reason. Anyway, right. I've just got to put a break that edge and we're done. In a bit of a rigmarole that actually. I made way more of a palaver out of that than was needed, I think. But anyway, there we are. Now, I'm particularly pleased with that because uh, it's taken quite a while to do. Um, and it's turned out really nice. And I know now that this is one, the lid and the bolt are one integral part. And that is absolutely perpendicular. So that will seal, should seal nicely. So let's get this, uh, next job is to weld this in. Um, I think it's going to go in the hatch actually. I was going to put it in the hull, but I think the hatch is going to be better. It's just that you get this sticky outy bit and it's slightly annoying. I wonder if the thread ought to go up a bit more than that. Mm, I'll think about that when it's in. So the, the hatch has arrived. Uh, so the hatch has arrived. I've just put it, it's actually upside down there on top of the uh, on top of the tower. Um, oh, it's actually upside down there on top of the tower uh, shell. But um, so you can see there's the O-ring groove. Uh, all nicely done. The, the the weld bead where it just nicked the edge of the um, the ring there. They've just sort of tidied that up with a grinder, so that looks like a little a little bit rough, but it's perfectly all right. Because I've got my thirty millimeter of of um, mating surface. So. And on the other side, you can see um, how it's been done. So that's ready to go. What I think I'm going to do, I mean, I've got to put the brackets and whatnot on, but I'm thinking that this overpressure valve, I'm going to put it in the hatch. I didn't want it in the hatch because this will end up clobbersome on the top of your head, but the hatch is the correct place for it, the highest point of the boat. Uh, so I've got to put in a uh, hole in there and uh, drill a hole in there for that. And there was one other thing that had to go in here. There's there's a hole there for the, uh, for the oh yeah, and there's a viewport obviously. So that's the next step is uh, I'm going to weld, I'm going to cut a hole for that. I've got a viewport to go in, so just let's say that's going to be the front. The viewport will go about there. I think I might put this at the side. If it's at the back, you'll clob your head on it. If it's the front, you'll clob your head on it. Maybe three quarters of the way round in between two viewports will be the possibly the least clobbersome place. Um, I'll end up having a tennis ball or something on it, no doubt. Uh, that needs to be machined into a viewport. And I've got to put a barrel penetrator in the middle, which I haven't got. So I've got some more material to make a new one. But anyway, that's where we are. <laughs> 